Namaste. 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 Welcome everybody here in the room and then at your homes. We're going to start with the eyes closed in a very easy sitting position. You can rest your hands on top of your knees and connecting your index finger with your thumb, Jana Mudra, Chin Mudra, as you prefer. Start taking deep breaths, connecting with the Ujjayi breath. Start creating a ocean sound by squeezing the, mus the muscles behind your throat. Allow yourself to breathe deeply and every time to breathe in order. If you don't know how to breathe, well, you can start inhaling lower abdomen, expand your rib cage chest and shoulders. When you exhale, release your shoulders first, the air of your lungs, the air of your rib cage, and lower abdomen. Continue, inhale, lower abdomen, rib cage, chest, and shoulders. Exhale, shoulders first, chest, rib cage in, lower abdomen in. Continue with the same order. Have an internal organ, internal practice, internal alignment is necessary for bringing the mind into one focal point attention. The whole point of the practice is to bring everything together, like bring your mind into the practice, bring the body into the practice, bring the breath into the practice, bring your intention, your soul, your energy. Invite all of you here and now. Today we're going to practice uh, Yellow Seed Level 1. Skanda Yoga is a practice to follow the Mayan calendar. Every day we have a different energies and we follow a cycle of perception and, and, and nature. We're going to focus today into be more clear about, about our intentions. We're going to bring the fire breath just to clean up the pipes in the, in the body to allow us to detox a little bit what is no need to see if it's true the practice we find clarity of purpose in our life. In this time more than ever we have to be very clear about what we want, not about what we need, it's about what we want, because the needs are always there, and the necessity of the mind is unlimited. You're always going to need more and more and more. Mind never going to be satisfied with anything. I think it's the time for us to realize it's no way to keep serving the mind, and it's time to serve in your own heart. How we serve in the own heart? How we target and awake the, the divine purpose in our life? is by praying. If we don't have a spiritual life and a spiritual connection, it's no way to find a purpose. We are always going to be doing and doing and doing and doing and try to be someone in the world by any kind of connection with the real energy of the universe. Today, more than ever, my invitation for all of you is to realize in this moment in time, what the, what the world needs is people in service. We don't need to be special. You can see everybody try to be someone in social media, try to show up. This is not the way. This is just illusion, more illusion for all of you. The real path is within. Try to be famous in your own heart. Try to have followers in your own heart. Try to have followers in the streets, the people who doesn't give you more vanity and more ego and more illusion. Now more than ever, we have to be very honest and realistic about who we are 
And what is our place in this world? Just take a moment just to start feeling the these words are really powerful because I'm working with that energy. We have to be honest more than ever and strong and more than ever because for going into your dreams, follow your 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 path is only for for people with the strength. The weak ones will follow others. But when you follow your own heart, when you follow your own uh, purpose in life, you're really going to have amazing, amazing life. We're going to do breath of fire, and after breath of fire, we're going to set a personal intention. And that personal intention uh, be the seed today, the seed for you to water, water every day to see if you one day you have a tree. And if you're lucky enough, you're going to see the fruit in this lifetime. And maybe you can put seeds in other people's heart for each one of us growing trees of love, generosity, service, humility, simplicity. Generosity, I said. <laughs> We're going to do 27 breaths of fire. Followed by Mahabanda. Mahabanda is Mula Banda, Uriana Banda, Yalandara Banda. Together, you hold it until you feel it's enough. You release bandas and then you let the breath infuse you with the divine energy of love, life. Inhale deep. 27. Mahabanda. Last one, when you finish and you are in Mahabanda, you can pop down to many 11 or 27 times with no breath. Inhale deep. And right hand in, in front of your right knee, left hand on top. Sankalpa Mudra. When we cross the left arm in front of your heart, you're making a decision in front of God. Never do an intention if you're not serious about with this mudra, because you are making a seal. You really are, are making a full decision. My said the thing, said your personal intention and be very careful of your intentions and very clear what you want. Back to the center. 
center with your hands and put ima with the imagination a beautiful seed in the center of your heart. Visualize a small seed just entering to the center and you feel how the heart just absorbs. There are your intentions. How we water our seeds with the practice, with breath, with good actions, with clarity of purpose every day. Group intention to all of us be aware of what, what is the best service we can do in the world right now and have the opportunity and the power and the strength to make the changes necessary for that purpose. Remember, we are not alone in this path. Grace is with us all the time. We just need to let grace do the work too. Three ohms, one Purna Mantra to start the class and set the intentions to the universe. Inhale deep. With the love and light and clear intentions, we bow. Super. Divine beings, divine seeds. Let's start standing in front of your mask with your feet keep distance apart. And hands in front of your heart. Take a moment, connecting with your feet. I like to measure two feet, two hands to create hip distance apart. Inhale deep, shoulders up and back. Smile. Your eyes are looking the tip of your nose. Inhale deep. Exhale, release the hands down, upper rotate your arms. Inhale, rise up. Hands together, lifting up, exhale, swan Hands few inches in front of you, lean forward into your hands, inhale, look up, up, rotate your arm. Exhale, bend your elbows, just give your shoulder blade back. Inhale, look up, push your head up, exhale, step back to plank pose, holding plank. Belly in and up. Lean forward. Camino más para atrás. Belly in. Slowly go down to the floor. Super slow. Go up into cobra. Shoulders up to your ears. Pinky toe pushing down into the floor. Pinky toe. Set the pinky toe. Pinky, pinky, pinky. Mm -hmm. And release down. Flow back. Down the five deep and strong Ujjayi breaths. Allow the breath to be the music, allow the breath to be your teacher. Bend one knee, bend the other, keep the breath constant. Mm -hmm. You can move the body in whatever way you want. Feel free to let the body move.
Inhale, look up. Bend your knees. Jump or walk between your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow into your heart. Inhale, rise up. Arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back. Man pose. Holding smack. Belly in and up. Slowly go down. Cobra. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Stay there a couple breaths. Go back down the five deep in the Ujjayi breaths. Right foot forward between your hands, back heel down, pass back and asana, side angle pose. If you need a block, use the block. If you don't use a block, use the hands outside. Straight your left arm over the head. Empower your back leg and lifting your right arm up. Mm -hmm. And vinyasa. Left foot forward between your hands. Back heel down. Parts back on asana to the other side. Keep your left hand up sun. Sitting both back. Scoop tailbone. Extend your arm. Core strong. Belly in. Wrist cage in. Mm -hmm. And be aware about the breath. Empower your back leg. And lifting both arms up. Vinyasa. Slow. Good. Five deep and strong. Ujjayi breaths. Inhale, look up. Bend your knees. Jump or walk between your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow into your heart. Inhale, rise up. Mm -hmm. Hands in front of your heart. Surya Namaskar, Namaskar B. We're going traditional with the feet together. Inhale deep, exhale squat down, Utkatasana, inhale arms up, exhale forward bend, Utkatasana, inhale lengthen, exhale jump back into plank, holding plank, Tessie, okay, slowly halfway down, go up to cobra or high cobra, slow back, right foot forward, back heel down, Arms up. Exhale, vinyasa. Right together. Mm -hmm. Low back. Left foot forward. Back heel down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, vinyasa. 
Beautiful. Down the thigh, deep and strong. Ujjayi breaths. Allow the breath to be there for you. Inhale, look up, bend your knees, jump or walk between your hands. <coughs> Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow into your heart. Belly in, belly in, belly in. Bend your knees. Inhale, rise up, Ukatasana. Exhale, hands back into Samasthiti. Inhale, you can open your feet uh, for the Skanda style, Surya Namaskar. Inhale. Exhale, squat down. Inhale, arms up, and we're going to stay there for five. Lean back. Mm -hmm. Feel all the weight in your heels. Open your heels to the side. Halfway down, Arda Ukatasana. Both hands down to the floor. Uttanasana. Fingertips. Go back. Inhale, look up. Go back to plank pose. Vinyasa. Inhale up. Exhale back. Right leg back. Three legged dog. Lean forward, halfway down, push back strong, right foot forward between your hands, sweep the arms up right away. Whoa. Hips down. Okay. Squeeze the hips into the midline. Maintain the breath active. Thank you. Two more deep breaths. Release the shoulders down. And vinyasa. Very nice. Good form. Left leg back. Three legged up. Lean forward. Go halfway down. Push back strong. Left foot forward between your hands. Back heel up. And sweep your arms up. Bring the arms back into the shoulder blades and look up. Pinky finger leading the way. Good. Perfect. Just keep moving the hips forward and down every time you exhale. And the arms back. Head back. Release your shoulder. Never stretch your neck. Exhale, vinyasa. Great. Go back. Take a deep breath there. Press it. Exhale, go down. Inhale, go up. And flow back. Two more deep breaths. Inhale, look up, bend your knees, jump or walk between your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow into your heart. Inhale, bend your knees. Arms up. Five deep breaths. Four. Three. Two. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back and wait in the plank. Holding plank, belly in, scoop table, move your feet back, everybody. Feet back, feet back, long distance, and lean forward with your body. Good. Halfway down. Go up to cobra. Nice. Flow back, down. Right leg back, three like a dog. Lean forward. Do three mini push ups. One, two, and Three, right foot forward between your hands, both hands in your hands, and cross. Re-engage your legs, come back to your breath, come back to your intention, let the intention more clear. Now, entrelace your hands in front of you. 
Move your palms to the side. Squeeze your shoulders back. Pala back, arms and eyes up. Now, inhale, squeeze the legs. Exhale, melting your hips forward and down. And look up into your hands. Mm -hmm. Look at your hands. If the hands are behind you, it's too much. You can move the hands a little bit forward and let the heart open and go back. Next time you exhale, keep the hands entrelaced and put your hands down to the floor and step back, vinyasa like that. Separate your hands. Take a couple of breaths, just feel back into your feet. Remember, look at your heels and make sure your heels are outside, like more out than your pinky toe. That will create inner rotation. Left leg back, three like a dog. Lean forward, ah, three times, three mini push-ups. One, two, three. Left foot forward, both hands in your front knee. And fall. Take a deep breath. Interlace your hands again. Now interlace your other hand. Arms in front. Squeeze your shoulders back. Spine back. Arms up. And go up. And going into a deep back. This is why we use the back heel up because we can maintain. We can maintain the even full back. Nice. Vinyasa. Push up. Baja hasta el piso. Eso es. En front, en front el piso sube como cabe. Like this. Uh -huh. Ajá. And then you can go separate and go back. Great. Come back into your powerful breath. Right foot forward between your hands and palms. Now, entrelace your hands behind your back. Squeeze your shoulders back. Belly in, rib cage in, heart down, head back. Bend your front knee. And imagine you're going to touch the floor. Today, with your fingertips, it's not necessary, but it's an idea. Stay with your breath. Back leg stand. Good. Inhale, lifting pelvis up. Back heel down and in. Humble warrior. Be the standby. If you have a block, put the block in front of you. If you don't need a block, put the head on the floor, touching the floor. Stay with your breath. It's not about poses. It's about breath. Poses will disappear in one day. Breath never disappear. And vinyasa. Take a deep breath. Full exhalation. Full inhalation. Left foot forward. Both hands in front of your knee. In front. Take a moment just to come back into the awareness. Re-engage the legs. Re-engage your uh, Mula Banda. Uriana. Rip cage in. Entrelace your other hand behind the back. Shoulders up. Straight arms. Head back. Full. And pose. Three more breaths. Belly in. Rip cage in. Two more deep breaths. And back heel down and in.
Release the pose. Vinyasa. Cross, cross, cross. Right foot forward between your hands. Fires back on us and a press with the left hand on your hip. Parts back on us and a prep with the left hand with the hip. Sitting bones back and apart. Straight your front leg. Belly in. Scoop tailbone. Twist in the upper body. Left arm up. Triangle. Come back to the breath. When you lose yourself in the pose, the breath will disappear. Rescue the breath all the time you feel you're not breathing. Hand, left hand in your hips, take a deep breath. Half a Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Bend your knee to your chest, hold your left foot with your left hand, and going into sugar cane. Put the hand on the block if you need it. Pose him down to the floor, standing split. Let the breath be there for you. Now hands in front of you and going into handstand prep, full handstand or whatever you feel like. Just jump. I'm going to give assistance to Gabby. Mm -hmm. Squeeze and lifting up. Gabby. Lifting up. 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 Left foot forward, back heel down, parts back on us and up. Right hand in your hip. Before we go into any pose, you just stop and re engage, bend the sport, rib cage. Sitting bones back and apart. Straight your front leg. Belly in, scoop tailbone. Mm -hmm. Side body long and open up. Right hand on your hip, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Maintain the core ribcage. Make sure, where is your ribcage? If your ribcage is out, you don't have bandas. It's impossible to have bandas with, with belly out and ribcage out. Push to the heel, strong. Now bend your knee to your chest. And going into sugar cane pose. Head back. Both hands down to the foot. Stand in split. When you go standing split, you can arm rotate your, your right leg and your leg just to have more. And then when you have that, you have to inner rotate and change the foot with the pin, this part out. Push this one. This one. This is the focal point. Now release your head and going into your handstand with the exhalation. Chin to your chest. Refreshing. Heels up. Heels up. Heels up. Push. I don't feel. I don't feel. 
Right foot forward between your hands when you are ready. Warrior two. Inhale deep. Baga pars va con asana. Bounce a rango to. Belly in, rib cage in. A strong quadriceps. If your quadriceps are not strong, you put all the weight in your muscles in the back and in the inner organs. You, can, you need to protect the whole practice with the mula banda, a strong engagement of the muscles. Two more deep breaths, and then both hands down, and we're going for Eka Para Kundinyasana, only five breaths. Belly in, belly in, push that heels, push that heels, good. Jump back, the right foot touching first. Jump and touch, good. Go up, flow back. Left foot forward between your hands. Warrior two. Walk your back leg a lot. Mm -hmm. Inhale deep. Exhale, Baga Parsva Konasana. Keep pushing. Keep pushing left to me. Both hands down to the floor. Eka para kundinyasana. When you jump, the left foot touch first when you go back. Go. Good. There you go. Come back. Flow back. We're going into Lazarita Padotanasana. Open both legs. Open your arms. Okay. Toes in, heels out. Open. Open a lot. Hands on your hips. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward bend, inner rotation. Hands flat. In, inhale and exhale five times. Push the head down to the floor and feel the quadriceps of the kneecaps are lifting into the hips. And from that, push into your heel. Don't let the breath disappear. No breath, no life. No breath, no relaxation. Inhale, look up. Exhale, put your hands on your hips. Inhale, go all the way up by pushing the heels. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward bend with the forehead down to the floor and the hands on the hips, elbows up. But the fingertips are pushing the navel. Mm -hmm. Inhale, go all the way up by pushing the legs strongly. Arms to the side, inhale. Exhale, entrelace hands behind your back. Inhale, look up. Engage quadriceps. Exhale, forward bend. Belly in. The, the forehead and the crown of the head try to touch the floor. Maintain the awareness 
and your core and your pandas and your intention inhale one go up again inhale open arms exhale hands on your hips inhale look up exhale forward bend and hold your big toes with both hands prasarita padottanasana four elbows up and push your head down to the floor Legs straight, straight and strong. Release the pose. Look to the front of your mat. Vinyasa. Five deep breaths. Now squat down for Vakasana. Squat down. Feet, big toes together. Arms to the side. I don't want to see traditional form today. I want to see Skanda style. Means I want you to squat a lot and put your shoulders away from uh, outside of your shoulders. No, knees outside of your shoulders. Lean forward, squeeze the knees and then go up. Then we're going to breathe for five. Good, Ceci. Go. Lean forward, Ceci. Lean forward. And with the strength, squeeze the neck. Now lifting the belly in and up. More Gabi. More Gabi. Mm -hmm. Good. And child's pose. Allow the breath be with you. Allow the, the intention be clear. Be worldly by the that the, the, the love of your awareness. Heart opening pose. Put your chest, chin, arms in cactus pose. Take a deep breath. You can close your eyes and be in the breath. One more breath, and when you're ready, come back into child's pose. Now, going into and your breath, we're going into Vasistasana. We're going to do level one, let's go simple, going Vasistasana with triples. Walk your side body to the side, uh, right side first. Move your left side on top, uh, body on top of the right and lifting up. Leg strong. Belly in, a little bit more up the leg. Then should not put the, the foot on the knee, Gabby, or up or down. Lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, and going into a wild thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Strong legs, strong quadriceps, belly in. 
Come back to the center. And let's do the other side. Stay with your breath. We're going into the wall thing. Back to the center. And we're going into, from down dog, you're going to jump into crow pose. Bend your knees. You can walk a little bit in and just do a little jumps. You don't need to be a big or small. Mm -hmm. Five breaths. Good, Gabby. Five. Four. Three, two, jump back, jump. <laughs> Good. And child's pose. Too much that too much fun. Mm -hmm. Stay with your breath. Down dog again. Right foot forward between your hands, back knee down, twisting thigh stretch. Walk your back knee two inches back. Hold your back foot with your opposite hand. The other hand is on the floor. Inhale, walk your, the knee should not be on the floor, should be the top part before the knee. Good. Now bring your left forearm on the floor and go in deep if you need, if you want. Hold your big toe and head back. Knee open, you feel the pelvis moving forward, belly in, ribcage in. Don't let the belly and ribcage get wild. You have to really maintain the ribcage uh, control. That is the core. From there, go back into... Uh, Hanumanasana prep. Hanumanasana prep. Exhale, forward bend. Elbows up. Head down into your chin, elbows up. Good. Come back. Bring your right arm inside your right leg, Eka para Kundinyasana 1. When you go in that, Eka para Kundinyasana. Don't, don't look anybody, Eka one. para Kundinyasana. 1. Ah, two. 2. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, jump back. Good. Left foot forward between your hands, back knee down, twisting thigh stretch. What the knee? There you go. You're perfect. Everybody good. Uh, Ceci, move your back knee back. There. You don't want the knee touching the floor. You want the top part. Good. The knee should be out. Relax and happy. Forearm down, belly in. Very good. Yeah. I see. Release the pose and just going into Hanumanasana. Breath. Now, Eka para Kundinyasana 2. Lean forward. When you get the lean forward and spread your both legs. Mm -hmm. 
put the arm inside and go and do what they do. Good. You got it. Jump back. You got it. Beautiful. Lay down on the floor and we're going for one arm, uh, one arm hard sugar, sugar cake pose. This pose is a little bit tricky to teach, but let's go one by one together. We're going to put the right arm in cactus pose. Mm -hmm. Now, move the body into the right. And now move the left, uh, right leg into the left. There. Now bend your other foot and hold your left foot with your left hand. Inhale deep. The whole idea will be here is the shoulder be on the floor. More than the foot be touching. Mm -hmm. Open head back. Good. Let's do the other side. If, he, if this part of us is closed, it will be very painful, but it's very delicious too. Remember, you don't need to go to the pain, you need to go to the opening. If it's painful too much, it's no need to be there. Move to the side, move your left leg to the right, hold your right foot with your right hand, and push your left shoulder down, like somebody's stepping on it. Come back to the center. Lie, by, lie down on the floor with two feet, one on top of the other, and just rest a little bit. Make sure your pinky toe are touching the floor. Mm -hmm. One foot locus pose. We're going to start with the right leg up and the left knee bent. Mm -mm. Hands to the side and you put one leg on top of the other. Bend your left leg. Oh, and this one? Yeah. Okay. Good. And then we're going up. Good. And we're going there for five push-ups. Good. One, que no se te The good of the level one uh, classes is like we really can go slow, we can really come back into basic alignment principles. You're going to have the time to see what happens in your body. One of the things of yoga is that we are disciplined. This is a discipline, means we need to let the mind be in one place, the breath and the muscles be in the, in the place they need. This is why 15 years is the time to we can call beginners. The same 15 years is when we really gonna notice and realize the potential of the practice, little by little. For more than we want to do everything perfect, 
some, sometimes the body doesn't respond, means we have just to be super patient. Right foot forward between your hands. Pigeon pose. Uh, right knee, I'm sorry. Behind your wrist. Pigeon. Walk your back leg two inches in, two inches back. Walk your hands back. Arbor rotate your arms. Arbor rotate your hip. Your right hip. And now bring your right hand in front of you. Hold your back leg. Kick back first. And then bring the heel back into the hip for tight stretch. Take a deep breath. You can stay there or go into mermaid pose. Remember to maintain the navel and, and ribcage strong in the poses. Come back down and fingertips next to uh, to the side, lifting shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. Let's do the other side. Every time you need to do more exercise, just do vinyasa in between legs, and that is will be good enough to work it out more. Now, left knee behind the left wrist. Walk your back leg two inches in, two inches back. Inhale, side body long. All oh, arms rotate your arms. Heart open, head back. Open heart. Exhale, bring your hand in front of you. Back foot. Inhale, kick away. Exhale, bring the heel back in. And you can do that all the time. Inhale, open, exhale. Now going to mermaid pose. And stay with your breath. Exhale, head down to the floor. back to the center we do vinyasa five breaths Right foot forward between your hands. Back knee down. One foot pigeon breath two. Walk your back foot, back knee a few inches back. And hold your back foot with your left hand. Inhale, kick away. Exhale, bring the leg. Now, your right arm in front of you, holding the left foot from in front of the body to the foot and just breathe. Mm -hmm. You can look back into your back foot. Mm -hmm. Now if you feel you're open today going into mermaid pose, you can bring the elbow in and hold your hands behind the head. Mm -hmm. And bend your front knee. Nice. Come back to the center. Step back. Vinyasa. Very good. Left foot forward. Other knee down to the floor and pop. Walk your back knee back. It's important just always protecting your knee. Now bend the left leg. Hold the left foot with your left hand. Resist first. Exhale, bring the heel in. Bring. Look back with both hands, good. 
Now, if you want to go deeper, just put the foot inside your elbow and back. Open up. Stay with your breath. Don't let the breath dissolve. Three, two, one, release, vinyasa. Step back. Inhale, look up, bend your knees, jump through your hands to sit down. Half fish. Left knee in, right knee up. Inhale, right hand back. Exhale, going into the twist. Come back to the center, switch your left. Come back into the center. Open the legs wide apart. Upa Vishta Konasana. Clear manually each leg three times. From here, one, two, three. One, two, three. Toes back. Inhale, side body long. Exhale, forward bend. Head forward, head down, elbows up. Inhale, side by long. Exhale, going into the right. Stay with your breath. Inhale, side body long. <laughs> Come back to the center one more time. Inhale deep. Exhale, forward bend.
Stay there, girls, where you are, everybody, in a Barakunasan. Be together, knees apart. Side body long. The spine needs to be straight. It's very important the spine to be straight for the channeling of the chakra. Hold your big toe and let the sitting bones and the crown of your head be in one line. Close your eyes. Sometimes we are here more in front, sometimes we are more back. Feel free to just, with your eyes closed, look your alignment internally. Hold your big toes and now start open your feet by using your hands like open a book. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Bring the chest into the sole of your feet. But the stomach has to be in. If the stomach is not totally in, don't even bother to go down because you will damage your back. The stomach has to create the space for the back to link. Come back into the center. You can put your legs in Sukhasana, easy pose. Fingertips in, in Mukula Mudra in the shoulders. The first one, we're going to inhale and squeeze the elbows strongly. The all el uh, see, elbows into the head. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. Open the elbows to the side like you want to touch the every part, every corner of the room. Five, four, three, two, one. And now bring the elbows together and squeeze it with all your strength. One. Two, three, four, five. Up, squeeze. This is super good for your shoulders. Will heal whatever is not in place. Outside, feel the, the shoulder just extend. You put them apart. Bring them down together. Squeeze with all your strength. Last one. Up. Out. In and release. Put your feet mat apart. Keep looking in the, in the place you are. And now put the arms in front of you with the thumbs looking up. Now, thumb looking down in, looking down in. Elbows in, elbows in, uh, squeeze the knees into the midline. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and release all the tension of your face. Like this. you can put your tongue out. You can. It's very good to put the tongue out because you will release energy. Close your eyes. Don't worry to do good faces or do bad faces. Everybody's gonna watch in you for sure. And now, release the pose, hands back, fingertips, shoulders up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and push your head back. Nice. Look to the front of your mat, and we're going for Navasana. You have a back pain. And Navasana doesn't do Navasana. Maybe do leg braces, bracing in the, in the floor. Inhale, legs up. Straight your legs, girls. Arms straight. One, two, three, four. Go halfway down. On your toes. One, two, three, four. You can bend the knees and go up. Mm -hmm. One, three, two, next to the two, and lift inches. Eso. 
That is a good option to put the fingertips like this because she can work, go halfway down. Good, mm -hmm. Last one, put the fingertips in the floor and lifting the legs. Chest to the legs, left to the chest. Legs up, legs up, legs up, halfway down. She has four kids. <laughs> Means she did, she she is a warrior. Go back down. <laughs> <laughs> I said she had four kids because one of the big problem after four kids will be the Work. center of the core. Means we need to just helping her out to be strong and strong and strong. The strength of our life coming from the core. Even if we are strong everywhere and the core is weak, we are weak. Means in one way we're gonna show up the weakness. Means always enter to the center, and from the center let the going into the exterior. Uh, knees on your chest. Sometime in life, we we want to first present ourselves outside, and then we see what happens inside. In yoga, is the other way around. Yoga, you work internally, and then you show up externally. Because if we do the other way. Sooner or later will be disbalance, weakness, pain, and no needed. Okay. We're going to breathe both. Feet, feet uh, heels in line with your knees. And we're going to use, keep using alignment. We're going to bend the elbows and put the hands and fist. Now, we're going to push the, the elbows down and we're going to arch the lower back a lot. Create the space in the lower back. Now, with that space that you create, belly in. Scoop tailbone and start lifting the tailbone up and lengthen the tailbone up into the face. Chest up, walk your shoulders in and interlace your hands behind your back. Take a deep breath. Imagine the knees are pushing away from you while the chest is lifting in that direction. Good. Keep going. Yeah. Keep lifting. Keep lifting. More. Chest, chest. Nice. And go down, hands in prayer position in your third eye. You can put your knees together, resting with each other. And be grateful today. What reason to be grateful today? Set your hands for back bend. Go up, set your hands, set your feet. Now, arch your lower back first. Belly, scoop tailbone, lifting tailbone, head, chest, and head. And now, okay, the doors went up right away. <laughs> Heels apart, big toes together, not together, but looking each other. Knees together, sexy. More than together, if they don't pull down. <laughs> You go more like this. Come back down. Hands in prayer position. Gratitude for something. And now going up again, this time you can go and up five push-ups. If we, you are ready for this, set your hand, set your feet, arch your lower back first, don't go fast. Belly in, scoop tailbone, pelvis, chest and head only, head on the floor, head on the floor. Walk your hands back. Nose to your floor, and now lifting the body up. Five push-ups. Inhale, one, two, 
Just going into Supta Parakinasana. But if you are okay, just go for shoulder stand. Inhale deep, take a momentum. Go up. more breaths. Legs down behind the head on the floor. Interlace hands behind your back. Put your toes in and keep pushing your heels away from you. Keep breathing. Sometimes this pose will be the more difficult one because uh, but the head is difficult, the, the breath. Start getting, getting back down with the hands flat on the floor. You still pushing and engaging and let slowly, super low, using your core. Mm -hmm. Going into fish pose, stay with your breath, don't let the, the breath just end there. Three more breaths. Intense pose. Legs up, arms up. Point. No need. And release down. Right leg up to the sky. Interlace hands behind your hands. Arch your lower back and kick the leg away from you. A little bit low. Open to this to the side. The same leg to the other side, just switching your arms. Going 
come back to the center. Let's do the other leg. to the Inhale the same leg to the other side. Mm -hmm. Back to the center. Happy baby pose with your right leg only. Then going to the other leg. Back to the center, happy baby pose with both legs. Mm -hmm. Right leg behind the head. other leg if you work it on. Mm -hmm. Both knees to your chest. Take a little massage side to side. Both knees to the right. And you open and you open the left. Mm -hmm. Come back to the center. Going for your Shavasana. If you need any bolster, eye pillow, whatever you need, just let me know. Open the legs wide apart. Take a deep breath in. Inhale deep. <sighs> Exhale three more times or two more times. Like ah. <sighs> Good. Just let it go. 
with the head straight looking up. Yeah. And we practice going to death. This is the, the corpus or practice of death. The whole idea is you pretending you're dead. If you are dead, you're not going to sleep. You're just going into a place you've never been. And it's so peaceful and so graceful. And it's just grace there working on you. It just rest. Enjoy fully.
bring your awareness back inside your body. moving your toes and your fingers. Stretch your arms behind the head. Stretch your legs. Stretch all your body like you stretch all your fascia. Feel stretch point your toes and feel stretching everything like when you wake up. Very important to leave the fascia uh, free. Bend your knees to your chest. And slowly roll to your right. When you're ready, start sitting up in meditation posture with your eyes closed in your hands and from your heart. Remember your intentions. Your intentions are the, the power of your life, of your destiny. Everything you do today will be extended in your future. Be smart. Be generous. Be kind. Be in service. Be humble and simple. We're going to say one own, that own, and dedication to all the people in the world who live in darkness. Pain, spiritual pain, physical pain, mental pain, emotional pain, where everybody find light, love, and God. One own, inhale deep. Loka samasta sukinu babantu Om shanti 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 from our heart to all of you with love, Namaste. Namaste. Namaste to all. Just remember just to maintain your, your attention and your intentions. Drink a lot of water and have a lot of fun. This life is short. Enjoy. <laughs>